This is the Apple Studio Display, also known as the LG Ultrafine 5K Expensive Edition. What? It's basically the same specs. It's the same resolution. It's got slightly brighter max brightness, I think. It's got the same IO, I think. It's basically an LG Ultrafine 5K, but with a twist. Not only does it have Apple's wonderful industrial design, but it also has, what is it, an A13 Bionic in it? It's Apple Silicon in the display. Why would you need that? Well, it's, well, basically it's a giant iPad. Apparently it even runs iOS, like iOS 15.4, which is ridiculous. You got to like activate uh, Siri with it. You can do that anyway with a standard microphone. It doesn't matter. You don't have to use an A13 Bionic in your display in order to activate Siri. Anyway, let's get into it. In this case, this box's design is amazing. So what you do is you just grab these, give them a little push. Aha. Yeah, it's like this for the Pro Display XDR as well. So it gets everything out of your way and you can just grab it. Okay, so let's see what else is in here. This is probably the power cable. Uh, no, that is the Thunderbolt cable, which can supply power. I think it can do up to 95 watts. And we got the Apple stuff. We got the studio display pamphlets. Ah, nice black Apple logos. Uh, where's the power? It's not in the box. Oh, <laughs> so they managed, <laughs> they, they put it. <laughs> It's actually a nice cable. Uh, does it come out? Oh, is it hardwired? Please don't, don't tell me it's hardwired. Please tell me that I'm just like running into resistance from this being tight over it. I don't remember now what the back looked like. In fact, I don't remember if they showed the full back. Uh oh, oh that's in there. That's not removable. That's, that's not removable. Not at all. This thing is attached? Oh yeah. That's so stupid. <laughs> Last time I saw power permanently attached to a monitor, it was a tube. Oh, I'm not that old, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, some of them had detachable cables. So if your cat or your dog or your vacuum cleaner chews up this cable, you are S-O-L. Now I know why they put it there. They, could, they didn't have any choice. Buy the Apple Care. Let's, let's forget about this for now and move on to the rest of the IO, such as it is. We've got a single Thunderbolt input, that's it. And then you get three USB type C's. I think these are each 10 gigabits per second, if I'm not mistaken. So Apple clearly doesn't want you to daisy chain these displays. In order to get multiple of these, you'd need to take up each one of your ports and you had to plug them in individually each time. Like, what? why is it Thunderbolt 3? Oh, I can think of why because they put the A13 Bionic in there and the A13 Bionic doesn't have the bandwidth for it. For a $1,600 product, you would expect it to be as seamless as possible, especially for something that Apple like keeps talking about. Oh, well, look at how simple it is. You just plug everything into your monitor and... Wait, it's, it's built in? Oh yeah. If you think about how the, the back plug on an iMac looks, I thought for sure, that, oh, that's just a similar sort of plug with the crazy magnetic connection. You would think so because this is a, like more expensive than the base of iMac. Ugh. This is obviously not the nano texture glass. Oh, that is a very nice peel though. It feels real nice. The nano texture glass compared to this would be, I'm not gonna say extremely matte, but it would be very much less reflective. Like I'm pretty sure if I turned it this way, you just straight up see the camera. Uh, this is not removable either. Just in case you were wondering, uh, this is the, uh, the tilt stand. There is nothing else to it. It just does this. So in the factory, you need to have either the vase mount if you have an arm that you want to put this on, or this or the uh, height and tilt. That's $400. The Pro Display XDR stand at least had the courtesy of having a quick detach mechanism that was really nice. This has nothing. It's literally just the stand. This is unacceptable. This better be the most beautiful display ever. I don't think it will be. However, in order for us to find out, I'm gonna to have to turn it on. And before I do that, I'm going to talk to you about our sponsor, Devolution. Thanks to Devolutions for sponsoring this video. IT pros disagree on a bunch of things like Kirk versus Picard or DC versus Marvel. And how can we forget <laughs> Windows versus Mac, am I right? 
There is one thing that millions of IT pros around the world agree on. They trust Devolution's server to manage all of their privileged accounts and Remote Desktop Manager to centralize all their remote connections and credentials on a single platform, which is securely shared between users and across the entire team. With Devolutions, you don't have to choose between productivity and security, you can have both. Learn more and launch a free trial at devolutions.net or at the link below. Does it do a display on thing? Does it do anything? Does it show anything? Does it? Oh, it does. It's booting iOS. How interesting. Oh, there's fingerprints all over it already. <laughs> the most expensive microfiber cloth. Well, it works pretty well, I guess. Let's start off with the easiest to, I guess, start off with the iPad. Plug that in there. It is charging. Oh, is it just like connecting? I don't know what's happening. Oh, <laughs> all my touches just went through. That was fun. Let's try that again. Oh, hey, there we go. That was weird. Oh, that's interesting. So you get separate controls for the brightness of the external display and the iPad, but the brightness of the external display doesn't adjust. Uh, Okay, so yeah, the, the, the general brightness in normal viewing conditions is more or less the same, and the color accuracy looks pretty decent compared to the um, the iPad itself as well. Sharpness seems okay, even though this is a different kind of signal. Uh, like, it's just actually getting scaled. Oh, right, it's got those super amazing speakers. Let's crab rave it. And wait, where's my volume control? Oh, that is, the, oh, okay. This looks very much like two brightness controls, does it not? That's what I thought that was. Yeah. It's the speakers. It's a bit harsh on the top end. The bass is pretty good, as you might expect from the speaker arrangement that's similar to the iMac 24 inch. But man, that top end was really rough. Like it was actually a little bit fuzzy. more balanced. Uh, it, it sounds better at the top end. Like it's it's way tighter. Uh, the bass obviously isn't as strong uh, or quite as nuanced, but bass isn't everything. I want to find something good about this display, aside from the fact that it's like similar in terms of brightness and color accuracy to the iPad, at least in standard content. Yeah, let's find some HDR content. Uh, you know, it actually doesn't look terrible. The blacks are actually really good for an LCD. Like this is a mini LED array that is far superior and it's similar in terms of uh, black performance. Well, I, I guess there's, it's a little bit worse on the studio display actually. The HDR tone mapping does look really good though, even though it's not actually an HDR display. Now it's time for the Mac experience. I expect will be a little better. I mean, obviously this is what it's kind of designed for. The iPad won't even output the right resolution. So I can adjust the brightness here. It also has automatic brightness adjustment. I can adjust the uh, color presets. Yeah, the HDR tone mapping looks real good though. And the color vibrancy is really good. Is it $1,600 good? Um, you can get similar performance or better out of monitors from other companies. What Apple is really doing here that is different it does the webcam and microphone and everything on the display. So let's try that. All right, so now we are recording from the studio display. The webcam light has lit up. Looks pretty good. Like I'm in pretty good focus here and you can see everything in the background as well. And if we look closer, yeah, there's a little bit of noise in the image, but like that's that background detail is, <laughs> well, A, it's in shadow and B, it's very much in the background. This is the webcam that's built into the MacBook Pro. Oh yeah, there's less noise in the background. Okay, now there may be less detail in the background too. I don't know. I haven't compared these side by side other than just kind of looking at them while we're doing this recording. I wanna see if this actually has similar video and audio quality with the Intel Mac. Wow, is QuickTime just like not loading or something? Uh, I can't tell if that's better or worse. It might be the same. So it might actually be getting the same processing as the M1 Mac was getting as well. Tell me what you feel about the uh, power cord. Are you serious right now? <laughs> I am on a two week streak of having no hot takes on the WAN show and I'm afraid that it is about to end because I am angry. Yeah.
Okay. Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Every person that walks by, hey, hey, tell me how you feel about this connection to the monitor back there and the power cable. Wait, what? <laughs> you can't unplug it? Why? Is the processor cool? Yeah, like there's so much stuff you could do with a processor built into the display. You could like do AI upscaling for lower resolution content. You could denoise uh, internet streams because you're talking directly to the operating system. They have a channel of communication. There's no AirPlay. There's no Apple TV. There's there's nothing. It's, it's supposedly running iOS 15.4 in there. And <laughs> I don't understand how they dropped the ball this badly. I wanted I went into this thing being like, oh yeah, well, it's basically this other monitor, but it's got these other cool features. But holy crap, did this disappoint me. Are you ready for the weekend? I, I think I'm ready for the weekend too. If you're ready for the weekend, make sure you get subscribed to Short Circuit because we release videos like this all the time. And you're not quite as angry as this, but <laughs> videos like this all the time